Two months ago, I enrolled in Y Combinator Startup School, a free online course to help startups get off the ground. A week into the course, I decided to drop the other projects I was working on and commit 100% to a new startup. This is the result of 50 days of work. It all started with a problem. I like making videos, but I don't like self-promotion. I wish I could just post a video and let my exciting content speak for itself. But my channel's too small, so I spam my videos everywhere to get views. I wanted to build a tool that would analyze my videos with machine learning and find all the relevant communities to share it in. And I knew this would be tricky to make, so I validated my idea by personally offering to help YouTubers find communities to share their videos. I thought about charging money for this, but after a week of watching videos and giving my advice as a YouTube guru, I was really bored and figured my time is better spent programming. So I googled how to do video processing, and the two best solutions I found were Microsoft Video Indexer and IBM Video Enrichment. It was pretty easy to choose which one to use because it took three weeks of phone calls and emails just to get access to the IBM thing, and by then I already launched the product using Microsoft Service. It works like this. The user enters a URL to a YouTube video, the video gets downloaded to my server, and then uploaded to Microsoft Video Indexer to generate tags. I use those tags to find relevant subreddits to share the video. I wanted to do this for Facebook groups too, but Facebook removed their search API after the Cambridge Analytica scandal, so the best I could do was generate a link beside each tag, which leads you to the Facebook group search results for that tag. I also used the YouTube API to find videos which are similar to the one the user submitted, and these could be useful to watch for general inspiration. I built the app using Node.js, Express, MongoDB, EJS, Bootstrap, and a bit of jQuery, with everything hosted on a DigitalOcean server running Ubuntu. I have three years of experience using this exact stack, so I use it for most of my web projects even though it's a little bit outdated. But if you're new to web development, my advice is just pick whatever tools you feel like and get started because all of them are kinda meh anyways, especially if you compare it to the stuff that game devs have. And as a beginner, you'll probably throw out most of your projects anyways. So I shared my web app on Reddit and I got a lot of comments and DMs saying the results were kind of stupid. This wasn't useful feedback for me because I already knew that the product didn't work very well. I launched quickly because I wanted to find out who would use my product and how they would use it. And I learned two very important things. Number one, it's easy to get small YouTubers to try out new software to grow their channel. I had about 100 signups from one Reddit post and that's all the marketing I needed to do to get enough data to figure out the next steps. Number two, most of the users were submitting shitty videos. A lot of YouTubers spam their videos everywhere because they think they can grow their channel without putting in the hard work of making good videos, and my website seemed to be attracting this crowd. I know the obvious response to this is, well, I think your videos are shit. Still trying to think of a comeback. My point is, I know it takes skill and practice to make good videos, but a lot of YouTubers start off on completely the wrong note and make videos about stuff that nobody cares about. This can be fixed by researching your niche on social media. But if you're anything like me, this usually leads down a rabbit hole of watching food videos. I think there's just way too much information on social media for anyone to keep up with, and there's no easy way as a content creator to use all this public data to improve your content. And so I decided to pivot to solve this problem. I made a dashboard which finds the top trending topics on YouTube based on whatever search phrase you type in. After you enter a search phrase, my site suggests video categories to refine your search. After you pick a category, you can see the top trends in that category, with a bunch of example videos for each one. Everything is produced by processing the metadata generated by the YouTube algorithm, so I don't have to do any machine learning myself here. Ideally, it would be finding the trends on all the social media platforms, but I haven't gotten that far yet. I shared the new site on Reddit, and it didn't get as much attention as last time. I'm not surprised because this isn't a quick fix to get views on your video, like my original website, but I think this is a more important problem for most YouTubers starting out. I charge 20 bucks a month for the fully featured account, even though there are a lot of improvements that need to be made. I think it's important to always have something for sale because that's the best way to measure how valuable the product is. I'm focused on making OmniPost a useful product for myself, and when I reach that stage, I'll spend more time marketing, but for now, as long as I have a few people using it every day from whatever random place they happen to hear about it, 
I think that should be enough so that my head isn't totally up my ass. Honestly, the best part about all this is that I have an excuse to make more videos. I'm really excited to see where this goes, and if you want to follow along, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.